Hello everybody, this is Last NASCAR Fan here, and I am here to bring you my mail day ads of today. So I like uploaded a mail day ad like I don't know, like maybe a few I think it was like yeah, a few days ago or something like that. I ended up getting more stuff in the mail. I got some eBay ads and a few ads from Instagram. So let's do the eBay ads first. So I won these two in a bid. What we got here, I'll just put that one to the side. I'll go to the first one. Um, sorry. Uh, this is the um, this isn't like this isn't a rail driver. This is actually kind of like a promo. It is a Winston Cup scene, like racing champions car. So my guess is is that back in like the nineties, um, when the Winston Cup scene, because this used to be the like magazine of NASCAR before, like when like magazines were like the only thing to like for like compared to, like, what social media is today, like, this was the only stuff, like, news you could find for, like, drivers or, like, teams or stuff like that, so I'm pretty sure you were able to buy this, um, like, at the track, if you bought, like, an issue of the Winston Cup scene, or they had them for sale, or something like that, so I got that for, like, under three dollars, and I also got this, a 19, 1989 Bill Elliott, this was, like, 223, so this was actually also under three dollars, so, I got those for under three dollars and then i ended up getting this one as well on um, 2002 jeff green american online um chevrolet monte carlo um one of 12,096 i got this for a dollar yeah yeah i got that for a dollar and uh shipping was like 4.95 so it wasn't a bad i like wasn't it was a good it was a good idea to bid on it because no one else was paying attention to it and that's what you want to look for on eBay ads. Like, you want to look at bids that no one's observing. Or, like, very few people, and they're just not interested. Um, let's go on to the cars I got from Instagram from Race Car Graveyard. So, I got a few more cars from him. So, the first one we got here, I already took it out of the, um, like, Ziploc packaging. But here is the 2003. This is the Bill Elliott uh, Lion King to, like, Disney DVD Dodge. Did a little research on this car, and he drove this at uh, Kansas in the fall. Uh, which does make sense, because I remember when the movie came to DVD. So it was, like, really little. I was, I was like, one years old, probably. Something like that, because I remember watching this movie a lot when I was, like, really, really, really little. And it's still a great, like, one of my favorite Disney movies. Until Pixar turned out more banners when I, when I got older. Um, here we got another 2003 car. This is the Ricky Rudd Air Force Ford. I have the Motorcraft, and now I have the secondary scheme, which is the Air Force car. And this scheme is pretty damn beautiful. I mean, I mean, even though it's Team Caliber, and Team Caliber never bothered to put on, like, the 76 decals, like, right here. But, I mean, it's a metal chassis, and you can't go wrong with those kinds of die casts. So, that was a cool car to pick up. And then the last car I picked up, this was $2. It has a little dent on the back here, but other than that, it's very clean. It is a... 2004 Brian Vickers GMAC Insurance Chevrolet. This isn't the rookie car, though, because Vickers did make starts in uh, the number 60 car in 2003. So he pretty much was like a rookie for like part-time in 2003 before he moved to the 25, replacing Joe Nemechek, who went to uh, MB2 Motorsports, who replaced, at the end of the season, Mike Skinner who went to, I think, the trucks, possibly. Something like that. I, I don't know where Skinner went. I think he probably went to trucks in 2004. But that's going to do it, guys. Um, Hope you liked the video. Comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.